Welcome in, welcome in my beautiful souls. It is your girl, Wounded Healer of Tarot, and I am back again with another reading here for you today. This will be a general reading for the sign Pisces. I'm going to be taking a look at what it is that you need to hear, see, and know, most importantly at this time, for your highest good. So if you do resonate with this reading, I truly appreciate it if you give this message a thumbs up. That is not only one way to support my channel, but it is also a way of letting me know that the message also did resonate with you. If you are not subscribed and you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. All right. So no further ado, let's dive right into your reading. I'm calling on you, my angels, my spirit guides, I'm calling on you, my higher power, my ancestors. My ascended masters, my gods, my goddesses, my magical fairy beings, and my animal spirit souls. I ask that you place divine protection over me as I go into the divination of tarot. What is it that Pisces is needing to see, hear, and know, most importantly at this time, for their highest good? What's the message here? All right, let's get into it. Show me what needs to come through here for Pisces. What is the message that they need to receive, most importantly at this time, for their highest good? The lovers is wanting to come through, okay? So let's see. The nine of cups in reverse. Wow. It feels like you're trying to find, like, your happiness. It feels like you're trying to find... Like even your purpose, what's going to fulfill you? Longevity. The nine of cups being in reverse. Somebody's Jupiter here is in Pisces, the Lord of material happiness. So something here is not fulfilling you. Something here is not making you happy. Hmm. I'm picking up a sense of maybe even sadness. Okay, tell me more. Why is this Nine of Cups in reverse for Pisces? What's the message? Nine of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Cups. I see you've been doing a lot of reflecting. You've been going deep within. There could even be healing taking place. I feel for some of you, you're coming out of denial. You're facing... You're, you're, you're facing your troops. And for some, that could be a hard pill to swallow. Depending on how much trauma, how much betrayal, how much pain, how many losses you, you've endured. Depending on your life story, that could be deep. Okay, I want to use this deck. Tell me more about that Knight of Cups for Pisces with this nine of cups in reverse. What's the message? Knight of cups, nine of cups in reverse for Pisces. What's the message? Letting go. You're letting go what no longer serves you. You're releasing what no longer serves you. You could be 44 years of age. You could be on the cusp of Aquarius slash Pisces. You can have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. You're facing your emotions. You're facing and dealing with your feelings. Okay, that's very deep. So it's telling me that you are awakening to your higher self. Tell me more on this letting go with this Knight of Cups. Five of Cups, you're dealing with some sadness. You're dealing with some disappointments, some regrets, some losses. Again, I told you I was picking up on sadness. And that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm feeling. Something here caused some sort of I'm pulling back my emotions. I'm not sure who energy I'm picking up on. Split the deck, ten of swords. 
something here happened. Let's get to the bottom line of it. Tell me more. Five of Cups. Letting go. Knight of Cups. The Temperance. For some of you, you could have had a loved one cross over. You could have had a loved one transition because the temperance is a guardian angel. Your spirit guides, they want you to raise your vibrations and they want you to keep your vibrations high. Sagittarius energy with this temperance. Okay, tell me more. Keep your vibrations high. Queen of coins. You know, we all talk about the law of attraction, the law of abundance, right? The law of manifesting. And I feel like that's the energy that your spirit guides want you to be in because you have to be careful with what you are thinking. You have to be careful with what you are feeling because you can manifest it. And that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, tell me more. Queen of coins, temperance, the world card. Somebody here is closing out a cycle, a completion of a cycle, a cycle here that definitely kept you in this energy of stuckness, this energy of sadness, this energy of self-sabotage, you know, this energy of self-worth, this energy of low self-esteem, this energy of not realizing your own value. This is a very heavy energy. Look at that, the temperance. You have a guardian angel that is watching over you. You could be seeing a lot of signs, symbols, synchronicities, old man's messages. They're reaching out to you is the message here. Queen of Wands, I split the deck on. I see a black cat. So I'm feeling like definitely like you're connecting again to your higher self. You are awakening to your higher self. Some of you are on this journey it's this sacred journey that you are on and it's been it's it's taken some time for you to get here tell me more five of pen i see a key here so let's see what this key message is tell me more about this five of pentacles for some of you i feel like your inner child is needing to be nurtured something here could have happened to you when you were a child that you've been living with for some time now. Tell me more. Five of Pentacles for Pisces. What's the message? What's the message here for Pisces? Five of Pentacles. Oof. We got in we got listening coming through. I see music notes here. Okay, so um, we all know with different kind of music, we know that music can put us in different kinds of moods. And I feel like your spirit guides are wanting you to listen to music that is going to be encouraging, that is going to be uplifting. We got cleaning house. For some of you listening to music while you're cleaning your house, getting rid of things that no longer served you. Give me one more on this five of pentacles. What's the message here for Pisces? Maybe even listening to certain like frequencies or certain hertz. I know that 528 hertz frequency is a really good one. We got coming apart. Oh, I love it. This is definitely that. Oh, wow. It's like you're birthing anew. You know, I'm seeing um, like. Let me get my words right. I'm seeing, you know, like it's like this energetic core that's been attached to you. You know, like just say, for instance, you know, if you if you were if you are a, a woman, you know, man or woman. But if you, you know, when it comes to a woman, when they are pregnant and they have two two babies in there at once, twins. Right. It's what we will call it. You know, they are both attached to the umbilical cord, even though they live in their own egg. I'm seeing you detaching yourself from the umbilical cord. That's like the best an, um, analogy that I can give you. I'm seeing you detaching yourself from the umbilical cord that was with you. Again, something here about 
inner child that is needing to be nurtured. That is needing to be healed. And I feel like you'll you'll be this, this better version of yourself once you do that. That's what this is telling me. That's what this feels like. I'm seeing two, ma um, two, two masks, two people. Like that old version of you has to let be released. That old version of you has to, it has to die in order to become this new. It's the same energy right here. It has to die. You have to realize that key to your own vault and that you have that key, but you have to put your head up to see that you can unlock that door. Tell me more, five of pentacles for Pisces. The page of cups. What's the message here with the page of cups? You know, that saying pigs, pigs can't fly. You know, that's the energy here, like believing in the impossible, believing that you deserve better. It's like, again, changing your mindset, you know, putting on affirmations and saying affirmations daily here. Your spirit guides are definitely trying to protect you from getting too deep in your emotions, too deep in your feelings. Something here is sitting on your energy cord. What's the message? Seven of Wands. For Pisces, the death card. The old you has to go. It has to end. Scorpio energy with the death card. I'm picking up on Aquarius, Lib um, Libra. Okay, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo with this world card. I see Sagittarius energy as well. Something here has to end. The death card is here. Okay, I see exactly where they want me to go. What's the message here for Pisces with this death card? What's the message here for Pisces with this death card? shuffle all right what's this dove card for pisces it's the message all right we have trauma nagmo trauma nagmo the number six here's the i'm just gonna read the little snippet she arises instinctively responding to a severe threat to your well-being, freedom, and sacred fulfillment. See, her fierce form causes the impure to tremble and the pure of heart to move close. She is ferocious in her wrath against injustice, dispensed with thoughts of vigilance. Pray for mercy for all beings, especially those trapped in patterns of consciousness harmful toward themselves and others. Open your heart to her heart and allow her to attend to all matters of karma while you remain true to your higher self. Yes, it feels like somebody here has been stuck, chained, bound to something here that you found hard to, to release. But Kalima is saying that old version of you needs to, it needs to die. It needs to be released. What else here for Pisces? There's that magician realizing your value, realizing your worth, realizing that everything you need is inside of you. All the tools, all the resources, all the wisdom, all the knowledge. There you are, Pisces. Moon at the bottom of the deck. Everything you need is inside of you. But it feels like you're needing to raise your vibrations. You're needing to believe. Okay? Tell me more with this magician. But you're also needing to let go. Yes, because something has you trapped. 
somebody's Jupiter is in Gemini. Something has you trapped. Something has you bound. It's like you're in this bubble. Try, look, trying to break out of it. 15, 15 on the clock. Look up that angel number and see what that message holds for you. Tell me more. Eight of Swords for Pisces, the High Priestess. Your intuition is leading you and guiding you. Okay. Your intuition is leading you and guiding you. It's like you're, yeah, it needs, it, you're, right now it's time to remove like karmic debris. It's time to cut old patterns, cut old ties, like that has kept you in this place of stagnancy. There is a completion of a cycle, the will of fortune here. So something here about karmic lessons needing to be learned, understood, okay? Tell me more about this will of fortune. What's the message? I told you I was picking up on Scorpio, um, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius energy. Here it is showing up with the will of fortune. We got cleansing spirit path of the north releasing burdens detoxification energy flow somebody here has been carrying a lot of heavy burdens with them that has been passed down it feels like it's been with you for some for some time and that could be why it's hard to break this cycle you could be seeing five 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 okay i'm seeing a lot of like spiritual strength and it's going to take self-mastery to overcome this tell me more Will of Fortune, High Priestess for Pisces, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. You can do it. It's possible. And that's on the other side of fulfillment, that your true happiness, your completion. That's what's on the other side. Reaching for that star. Because you end because you didn't give up on yourself. You kept fighting. You kept pushing through. You kept overcoming. That's what's on the other side. Four of Wands, Nine of Cups. You'll be able to receive love the way you need to receive love. I feel like that for some of you, that's been hard for you to for you as well. You're, you're, you haven't been able to receive the love because you still have been needing to heal from your trauma, your your let your um your 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 past, your hurts, right? Tell me more. Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. There's two swords still in front of you that is blocking you that needs to be removed. You're still needing to deal with certain things that needs to be removed, that needs to be released, that needs to be let go of. For some of you, do a burn ball ritual. Write down certain things that has been fears of yours, that has been blockages, that has been on your mind or heart heavy. And, and write it down with love and light and then burn it. Okay, tell me more. Eight of Swords for Pisces, King of Cups. It feels like a lot of like self-love, self-care. King of Wands is coming through. Taking back your power, okay, is what I'm seeing here. Any other messages needing to come through? Eight of Swords for Pisces. Strength card, overcoming. Told you. Overcoming it all. Overcoming it. Push, keep pushing forward because that's what's on the other side. You overcoming this. That's what I'm seeing here for you, Pisces. So I hope that this message brought you motivation, inspiration, clarity on your path, on your journey. If it did and you are looking for a personalized reading, you can find all my information linked in my description box down below. If you resonated, I truly appreciate it. If you get that, give this message a thumbs up. By hitting that like button, that is a way to let me know that you resonated and also to support my channel. If you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. All right, my beautiful souls. I will see you all very soon on your next one. But until then, love and light. Take care.